Congratulations on your determination to improve yourself and your skills with Flutter and Flame, mobile app development for games. I'm going to show you how to get collision detection working with Flame 1.0 and Flutter 2.0. Thanks to CO2 for testing these Flutter Flame tutorials up to now. We're going to get collision detection working. If you've been following these tutorials, your game may look something uh, like this. Uh, this one is in landscape mode. It uses the same set of videos up to this point. Just the graphics have changed uh, because the the student is downloading some their own graphics from the internet and then modifying it for this particular game. This is video number eight in this series. Playlist is in the description. So you should have already created the background and for the game platform. And we have some components on there, but we don't have collision enabled. Let's do it right now. The code for this lesson is also available on GitHub if you want to drop in at this point. Base game right here is from Flame. You can see it if you mouse over with VS Code. It's in uh, the, the Flame package. Also, double, tech, double tap detectors also is from Flame. So my game is the name you created for yourself, base game with double tap detector. It's a mix-in. We're going to add has collidables. Also, this is from Flame. Once you add has collidables to the base game, you can now add collidables and a hitbox to the individual sprite components. Let's do it. To make it easier to see, I'm going to use three separate classes for each of the three components on the screen. So the, there's the platform, there's the girl, and then there's the boy. So let's extract the boy out first. It's a sprite component here. I'm just going to go to the end of my file for now. I'm going to use the keyword class. Class is from Dart. I'm going to pick a name for the class by convention is capitalized. I'm just going to call this one boy. There's a keyword from Dart extends and it's the name of the class which is from uh, flame which is sprite component. And now we have a separate class just for this boy that extends the sprite component. Created my own class I'm not going to call it boy. This is the one I just made. And boy. So right now I have a special class that I created myself that extends the sprite component. So this boy with a capital B here is the class I just created right here. Right now it's just a duplicate of a sprite component. We're going to modify it soon. Everything still works after a hot restart going to add the collidables. So. We're going to create another class for the girl so it's easier to see. So sprite component is from flame with hitbox. It's from flame and collidable. Both of these mix-ins are from flame. Sprite animation component. She's right here. So if you scroll down for the girl animation, you'll notice that this sprite animation component from frame data, this line right here. I'm going to, on VS Code, control click on the sprite animation component so we can actually see the uh, constructors. And you'll notice that one of these constructors is this sprite animation component from frame data. Another one was the base one where it's not passing um, um, the it's not the named constructor, right? So I'm going to copy both of them here. This is from the code for Flame itself. Let's copy it. 
going to go down to where the girl is. And then I'm going to delete the ones that's in orange here. Change this to girl. Change this to girl. And there's this right, right now. We're not going to use this. So I'm still getting this error here. If you look at it, it's there's two different images. So what I'm going to do is go up to the top, import Dart UI, and then I'm going to go down to here and make sure that's taking the right, the correct image. So now I've just added these constructors, which I simply copied from this sprite animation component, which is part of Flame. And I deleted the portions that I'm not using right now. So now my girl does have the uh, named constructor. So anything after the dot would be, whoa, would be a named constructor. So if I look at it now, there's no uh, errors. So now since I have the named constructor, this frame data for girl, um, and the previous step is right here. So I created a constructor, which I copied from the sprite animation component. So now the, there is a named constructor for girl, girl from frame data, which we just created just now. So if you run your game, the uh, collision is not enabled uh, at this time, but we're getting closer. Uh, the game should run at this stage with no errors. So go ahead and verify that right now. So I'm going back to the named constructor that we just made for the, the frame data. Again, although it looks complex, you know, it's just copied over from the original sprite animation component constructor. So not too bad. We don't need to delve into it too much right now, uh, as long as we can use it in our game. Uh, there's a parameter for uh, debug mode for that's built into Flame for this uh, sprite, co the collision detection, so that we can you know, just see what's going on a bit easier. Uh, I'm going to put it to true. And then I'm going to add a shape here for the uh, hitbox rectangle. Hitbox. Rect There's different types of hitbox you can see. I'm going to use a rectangle. Save it. Let's run it again. Now, because I have the debug mode as true, the girl does have the uh, hitbox. Uh, you can see the position of the girl, right? So we now need to add the uh, hitbox and the de detection to the boy. Let's do that. So for the boy, I'm also going to add a constructor in here for for simplicity. I think I'll just start off with copying this. Well, not this one. Uh, the constructor from the sprite animation component source that. Uh, it's just sprite animation component. There's no dot after it on this one, right? So on the source is line 17. I'm going to drop it in here into the class to start off the constructor. There's a bunch of things that we're not going to use. So I'll just, just delete these. Okay. Then I'll change this one to boy. And Let's add a couple of things here. So ahead of that semicolon, uh, we don't need the semicolon now. <clears throat> Let's put the debug mode to true again. We'll turn it off for the actual game. You don't need to, you don't need it to be on. It's just to see the rectangle, but we do need to add the shape here. 
again it's the same hitbox rectangle these are new terms for you for flame uh, but once you get used to it it's the same right so it's uh you can have different types of collision detection we're going to use a, a rectangle here let's see how it's looking so both the girl and the boy now have the hitbox rectangle on it if you recall we've also enabled uh, has collidables on the base game so this is setting up so we can have a very scalable game here with many collidable objects. You can add the action onto either component here, but uh, since the boy has a little bit simpler code here, since it's not using the name constructor, uh, we'll, we'll use the boy. So after the constructor, put a new line in. We're going to override the built in on collision, which is built into flame. So with, uh, with the code completion, it already set it up, but you could also just copy it right here if it didn't do code completion for you. And right now, if there's a collision, uh, we can now take some action. So let's just print hit for now. Hit. And we're going to reload it here. So ideally, when it collides here, whoa, there it is. The hit, it's working. We now have collision detection working. We are off and running. So there's different things you could do. For example, you could show our heart, but um, we'll have a tragedy like a Romeo and Juliet. So when the girl hits the boy, the boy will disappear because we have this remove here in the boys on collision. And now the boy is gone, unfortunately. Okay, let's make a few modifications here. So we'll uh, turn off the debug mode. So this here. From both the boy and instead of removing the boy um, let's just have them print a happy message so that's not a Romeo and Juliet uh, type of thing so I'm gonna comment out the remove here and instead of printing hit we'll have Hi, I want to be friends. Okay, so when we actually are building the game, we can then insert another sprite here, like a heart or something. But if he's disappearing, it's kind of like a... Uh, so it's here in the debug message, we have hi, I want to be friends. Uh, we can take some other action, obviously, but... We, we are now off and running with multiple types of collision uh, in the game. It's Once we have this framework, we could add uh, 100 different objects, have a scrollable screen. And when a collision occurs, uh, you can set it per object as well, too. Uh, it takes some action. But there's a lot of things covered in this one uh, This to get the collision detection working for the entire game. So we have a more scalable framework. So subscribe. If you need to review this video, there's a lot covered in here. Uh, review it again before we get to the next video. Man, congratulations on getting this far. This is uh, a lot covered here. Um, so subscribe to the next video. And we'll get this thing out, add some more features onto it. And the game is going to be fantastic. Congratulations on having the determination to come this far. Have a great day.